Hi, my name is Matt Klaus, Senior Fire Protection Engineer at NFPA. I'm responsible for NFPA's documents on automatic sprinkler systems including NFPA 13, 13R, 13D, and NFPA 25. In addition to the sprinkler documents, I also handle NFPA 3 and 4, which address system commissioning and integrated system testing. Do sprinkler systems in cold weather areas require the use of antifreeze? Um, there is a myth out there that once you get into cold weather areas such as Canada or Maine or Minnesota, those areas where the winter time you'll see temperatures around, uh, you know, negative five degrees, zero degrees Fahrenheit, that you're required to put antifreeze in your system to prevent it from freezing. Uh, that's actually not the case. The way NFPA 13 is written is that we expect the area where sprinkler pipes are present to be kept at uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Where you can't maintain that ambient temperature, you might need to go to another measure such as heat tracing, insulating those spaces, adding some supplemental heating devices, uh, looking at dry or pre-action systems, or if you choose, you can use antifreeze there. Uh, but there's certainly no reason you need to jump right to antifreeze as the answer, uh, because as I mentioned, there are a lot of different design options out there. Um, the new antifreeze requirements that we have that were added by TIA or tentative interim amendment to NFPA 13, the 2010 edition, are fairly restrictive on the use of antifreeze. Uh, so there are a lot of other options out there that will actually get you better freeze protection if you consider uh, those options up front.